this is going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd. And, and this is just about optics. It's not about safety. Take a look at this. You can see they're having a great time, huge party, dance party, no masks, no social distancing, uh, no such thing as bubbles, just flying in private jets. Yes, yeah, some people wore a mask when they were coming in, but there was no masks. In but don't worry about it, because you heard the New York Times and Jim Acosta from CNN. You don't have to worry about this crowd because they're sophisticated. Don't be stupid. Those people are sophisticated. The good news is our moral betters, the sophisticated people, like not, not dummies like me, but I'm talking about fancy people. They can get together because they're sophisticated in how they do it. When you and I get together, we're sort of dopey, ignorant, don't know what we're doing. But the sophisticated people... They do it a little differently. And uh, I want to show you a New York Times report. It don't get fancier than that. That's sophisticated. You know, they're sophisticated and then they're sophisticated. This is a sophisticated New York Times fancy pants on the fanciest network, CNN, talking about, look, this virus, it only goes after you dummies. Take a look. Said, you know, this is really being overblown. They're following all the safety precautions. People are going to sporting events that are bigger than this. This is going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd. And, and this is just about optics. It's not about safety. All right. Andy Carney, thanks so much. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, good talking to you. So what are they talking about? What's she talking about? Who are these sophisticated people who are getting together um, that is not as bad as people just going to some sporting event? Ooh. Well, I don't know if you know, but um, the chosen one turned 60 um, this past week. Obviously, I'm talking about Barack Obama. And uh, so he had a big party. DJ posts stealth pics of Obama's epic birthday party before being forced to delete them. It does look sort of epic. Do you have the picture... The Daily Mail probably covered this really well. The massive tent, like he's got this enormous property, Obama. It's quite something considering he really had very modest jobs before being president and now he's really got a billionaire lifestyle. I don't know where that money came from. Oh, well, I'm sure it's, yeah. So he set up this massive party zone that's his house on the left there. And then he set up all these party, like the house is not big enough. He had hundreds of people. Looks like any more pictures like this? And um, can you show me the picture of John Kerry, um, Joe Biden's climate czar, arrived for the party in a private jet because he's John Kerry. I mean, he's sophisticated. So not only is he so sophisticated that he doesn't have to worry about, about, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's John Kerry getting off a private jet. Uh, yeah, click on that Daily Mail link. You see that one right there? Got it. Chrissy Teigen was there, John Legend, Chris, uh, Don Cheadle, I don't know, that other couple there. What's that? Basketball player. Okay, there's... Uh, so look at that massive, massive property and all those catering trucks. You keep scrolling. Listen, Daily Mail is... That's his house. And then they were building, like, the tent for the party. That is Barack Obama's house. And they're building the, the party tent or whatever next. So, yeah, keep scrolling. These are great pictures. Gorgeous property. He's de facto a billionaire. Yeah, they're not wearing masks. Why would they wear masks? What do you think? They're sophisticated. Like, like seriously, there's no masks there, are there? Now, by the way, I wouldn't wear a mask either. Um, it's outdoors. 
I'm not sure. If, yeah. So John Legend, Chrissy Teigen. What's funny, oh, they got masks there for the photo shoot. Uh, what's funny is that, um, who's that? Hunter Biden's ex-wife. Jeez, that's awkward. Who are these people? Hunter Biden's daughter. I think he's got kids by three different moms. Who's that? Is that um, Stephen Colbert? Yeah. Because uh, Don Cheadle, right? I like Don Cheadle as an actor. I just can't stand when these guys start giving me their politics. Anyways, so um, it was a huge part. Look at that property. Huge party. And there's a bit of a backlash. So they said, okay, we're going to pair it back just to close friends and family. Um, yeah, like Don Cheadle and, you know, did they pair it back by even a single person? I saw a headline that, um, who's that guy from Caribbean Enthusiasm? Larry David was cut back. Maybe that's just a joke for an episode or something, that he was the only person who was cut back. Um, we have some video, actually, of the party. I, I tweeted, did you have that video clip by Erica Badu? Because, of course, Erica Badu is uh, close, close friends and family. Take a look at this. <laughs> I think, um, I mean, Barack Obama is half black and half white. I think he dances like a white man, if I can say that. Like he, he is, uh, or he's like when Eddie Murphy, remember, you know when Eddie Murphy plays a white man, like when he starts to talk like this? That's, or, um, that's Barack Obama. Anyways, you can see they're having a great time, huge party, dance party, no masks, no social distancing. Uh, no such thing as bubbles, just flying in private jets. Yes, yeah, some people wore a mask when they were coming in, but there was no masks in this party. Um, but don't worry about it, because you heard the New York Times and Jim Acosta from CNN. You don't have to worry about this crowd, because they're sophisticated. Don't be stupid. Those people are sophisticated. Unlike, say, I don't know, some blue-collar guys who are riding a motorcycle. How unsophisticated is that? That's a super spreader event. Getting together and dancing and singing and hollering, no mass people from all around America. That's not a super spreader event. That's sophisticated Americans showing you how your life can be one day if, you know, you bide your time and if you go get a COVID test if you had a headache. But if you are some low class mere citizen, I don't think you're sophisticated enough to, to handle this virus. Here, here's Anthony Fauci on a big uh, bike motorcycle rally. Take a look. You've brought up uh, regionally the South, but out uh, in the plains, in the Great Plains, we have Sturgis, South Dakota, is going to be a, there's a gathering right now of some 700,000 people. Last year, it was a smaller turnout, and it was over about 150,000 people, and it, and it led to a massive outbreak in the Dakotas where they became number one and number two uh, for essentially the rest of the calendar year of cases. What do you expect this rally to do to that part of the country? Well, I'm very concerned, Chuck, that we're going to see another surge related to that rally. I mean, to me, it, it's 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 understandable that people want to do the kinds of things they want to do. They want their freedom to do that. But there comes a time when you're dealing with a public health crisis that could involve you, your family and everyone else, that something supersedes that need to do exactly what you want to do. I mean, you're going to ultimately be able to do that in the future, but let's get this pandemic under control before we start acting like nothing is going on. I mean, something bad is going on. I mean, we've got to realize that. 
Yeah, I mean, look, Barack Obama and his friends are sophisticated. What don't you understand about that? Erica Badu is close friends and family. Stephen Colbert is, you can just see the, the, the resemblance between him and Michelle Obama. They're, they're family, surely, right? Close friends and family only. They're sophisticated. John Kerry flew in his very sophisticated private jet. Not like those bikers. By the way, does that not look fun? That, uh, that Sturgis rally? I mean, I'm not a motorcycler, but if you like motorcycles, what an amazing get together. Like it's, that's probably the greatest motorcycle rally on earth. Like did they say, did they say 700,000? Did I, I don't even know how that could possibly be. Like that's just such a staggering number. Even if it's one tenth that, that's gotta be the largest motorcycle rally in the world. Talk about fun. There's got, and there's got to be so many different groups. Like, there's a whole world. We don't, I don't know anything about this. Maybe you know about this. Um, I, have, I have friends who do long-distance motorcycle rides. Is like their vacation. Like, they take a month, and they're like, and what a great way to see the country. So I, when I was a teenager, I, I bicycled through part of Europe. And you wouldn't guess it because I don't look like I'm built for bikes. And those, especially those very hard banana seats, I had like them make a little couch. Like I had a modified like a little couch seat kind of thing on my bike. Very aerodynamic. Okay, let's be honest. Halfway through, I just threw the bike on the train, got to the next town before everybody else said, well, what took you guys so long? Me and my couch bike, we've been here for hours. But the, the great thing about taking a bike, and I can imagine it's even better on a motorcycle, is you see everything. You don't miss it. You're not going by at 100 kilometers an hour on a highway. A train is lovely, but you go on a bike or a motorcycle, what a great way to see the, the countryside, and you can stop anywhere for a bite or for a vista. It really is a great way to live. Um, I say that based on my tiny experience of riding a motorcycle like twice in my life, but actually that bike trip is what informs me. But no, no, no. How dare you, unsophisticated people, ride your motorcycle in the fresh air? And by the way, they're socially distanced, as if that's a thing. But Barack Obama and his sophisticated people can dance in a hot, sweaty tent because they're just better than you. Know your place. And, and I, you, you know, the South, the Sturgis route, the South, the South, they're the worst in the plains. And I understand that Lollapalooza, the big, you know, uh, hippie folk fest kind of, yeah, that's, that's Lollapalooza. Was that in, was that in uh, Ill, Chicago? Look at that. Now, by the way, good for them. That's living again. That's how life was in the before times, right? That's have the fun to go to a concert, don't you think? Not a mask in there. Good for them. You know, it's been a while since I've gone to a rock concert. But it is fun. Who else is there? Who else is there? And who are you sitting next to? And are they dancing or singing? Like, it's part of the experience. It's not, if you want that isolated experience, you'll sit on your couch and watch it on TV. We've all done plenty of that the last 18 months. Thank you very little. Want to be amongst people. No, no, no. Not unless you're sophisticated. Boy, that makes me mad. Hi, that was a clip from our Rebel Daily live stream. It's hosted Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by the big boss man, Ezra Levant, and Tuesdays and Thursdays by me, Sheila Gunn-Reed, and my good friend, David Menzies. On the live stream, we talk about the news of the day, we show some videos, and we interact with our viewers at home. We stream at 12 noon Eastern, 10 Mountain. You can find us on YouTube, Rumble, Super U, and Odyssey.